three, Patuxent Tower, wind 180 at four. Clear to land. Clear to land. I've been away for a long time. I got my family here. Have uh, a lot of people who supported the program. So it's uh, it's great to come back home after spending a lot of time away. The X32B uh, flies very similar to the simulation that we've been doing for the past years during development. I think we're uh, we're ready to go right into testing. We brought an upjet here today, and uh, I think we could fill it up and fire it up and go flying right now.
Well, the Joint Strike Fighter will uh, bring enormous operational benefits to the United Kingdom. It means we'll have an aircraft that is uh, supersonic and stealthy. It'll carry state-of-the-art weapon systems. And uh, with all that, it'll also hover and land on our ships as well. So that represents a huge increase in capability, one that we really need to replace the Harrier uh, sometime in the next decade. I would say stand by for the future because there's a fantastic aircraft uh, on its way. The Joint Strike Fighter will be uh, a marvellous asset to the UK and the good news is that the UK are really being involved in this programme, uh, being given a lot of uh, uh, important jobs in the programme already and so we can, uh, with that we'll be able to make sure it's the aircraft of choice for us, it meets all our requirements as well as those of the United States Armed Forces.